What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. I am the Friendly Grumpy Trucker and I just hope that you're doing well and staying safe out there and making some money. In this video, I'm going to basically go over a quick little tip, uh, possibly a trucker's hack, however you want to look at it, on something that you can utilize on your smartphone that everybody has and may not realize just how helpful of a tool it is to us truck drivers. Stick around if you want to find out exactly what that is. All right, guys, what this tool is, it's very simple and it's something everybody has and it's something that some people are probably going to say that it's not a good truck trucking tool, but I'll get into that. The very tool is Google Maps. Now, some of you might say, but Corey, Google Maps is not a great trucking tool. It's a glorified GPS and it's not truck driver friendly. It doesn't specify truck routes, it doesn't specify low bridges, it doesn't specify weight limits, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And you're right, it does not specify that kind of stuff. However, what it does do is it does a very, very good job at giving you detailed information on traffic and on satellite images and both of those things are exactly what we need to know what's going on in front of us uh, before we get to that point sometimes now one of those subjects or one of those topics where it can really be helpful is believe it or not simply going through a scale house now you know how they have those lines that goes from green to orange to bright red to dark red and the darker the color gets the slower the traffic is moving well the dark red is basically a parking lot whereas the green is freely moving there's no obstructions you're good to go and everything is hunky-dory as they say well you got the orange and you got the bright red in between there too and the orange obviously means traffic is moving slow but it's moving bright red is kind of a stop and go whereas like i said dark red is just stopped not moving or anything now the way google tracks this and i might butcher it i don't know uh, but i'll give you the uh, layman's terms uh, of how uh, of how google tracks it is they track each individual phone each individual each individual user as they're driving down the highway and because pretty much everybody has google maps on their phone uh it can track uh, each individual driver, each individual automobile, trucks included, and it will tell you, it, it will tell, you know, uh, how fast they're going via the colored lines on the, on the map. Uh, now, so what that means is, you know, say there's a bunch of traffic and they're all moving slow. Well, it will collectively uh, take in that data and it will say, okay, they're, they're moving slow, but they're moving. So, you know, they're clustered together, but they're all moving. So we're gonna give it an orange. Or they're stopping, but they're moving, and then stopping and moving, so we're gonna give them a bright red. Uh, there's, you know, or, you know, you see where I'm going with that. Now, how that works to our benefit, obviously, other than, you know, looking ahead uh, and seeing if we can dodge any potential traffic jams. Uh, but what it does, though, is it will also tell you uh, if a scale is open, if you think about it. And what I mean by that is it will even show you in rest areas and scale houses if there's traffic moving into those scale houses. And here is a, here's an example of the rest area that I'm sitting in right now. As you'll see, there is some, uh, there's some orange as it comes in and then it goes basically to bright red. You know, the orange is traffic is slowing down as it comes in. Then you have the bright red, uh, or I'm sorry, the dark red, which is where the, you know, it's parked, traffic is parked. And then as it exits, it's green because traffic is moving freely as they exit and floor it to merge safely onto the freeway. All right, so it does the same thing for scales. When a scale house is open and you have trucks moving in and out of that scale house, it will show a line going into that scale house and out of that scale house because you have a continuous uh, line of traffic of trucks moving into that scale enough that uh, usually and don't it's not foolproof but it's enough most of the time 
that Google can collectively use that data and show that there's traffic moving into that scale house. If the scale house is closed and has been for you know a long enough time uh, that it's not anymore, it's not uh, collecting that data anymore, then there will be no lines going through that scale house. It will be, you'll just see the line of the interstate going by and then you'll see a clear uh, satellite image of the scale house, but no lines. Now that right there is one of the uh, best ways I think that uh, you can utilize Google Maps as a truck driver. Now, one of the other very important uh, aspects of Google Maps that helps us as drivers is say you put in an address in your navigation uh, for, uh, for a consignee or for a uh, shipper. Then you get there and you realize, well, crap, this address took me to the uh, entrance for the uh, office personnel and their four wheelers. It, I can't get in here with a truck. Uh, so, you know, and then if, if the plant's big enough, there might not be a, an obvious area or an, an obvious uh, sign or entrance that you can see with your naked eye uh, that, you know, you want to drive to to pull into with a big truck because obviously we all know it's not fun. It's not fun to try to turn a big truck around if you miss an entrance. So what Google Maps can do is if you look ahead before you get there, uh, you'll, you can look at the uh, satellite image and you can see if you, you, you can see the whole property on the satellite image and you can look for what would be more than likely a truck entrance and it will be obvious because it's going to be a much wider entrance than that of the office personnel entrance so it'll give you a clear visual uh, sign uh, where you need to go and that's good because the entrance could be completely around the block um, you know as to where the address is actually taking you. Uh, so, you know, you might have to go around the block. You might be on a whole separate street. And in that case, it can get really confusing if you don't know where you're going or you don't call ahead first. And granted, it's always best if you're unsure to call ahead first, if you have their phone number. And if not, if you don't have their phone number, you can always get it off Google as well. Another, uh, you know, positive to Google right there. It's not Google Maps, but you can still Google the name of the place you're going to and get their phone number and you're good to go. Uh, but again, that right there, the, uh, the satellite image is the best way to know whether or not you have, uh, you know, an idea of where the truck entrance is. Uh, and also on the same note, if you want to drive there to take your break, you can also look to see if there's enough space for truck parking. You know, sometimes you get somewhere and there's just, it's just too small. You can't park your truck anywhere near there. And then if you didn't plan ahead well enough, you'll have to backtrack. 20 miles to a truck stop and that's no fun but it's always best if you're able to to drive straight to the shipper or the consignee and take your break there that way you can start fresh after your break and you know you get that's you that's how you capitalize on the most miles from your week is doing things like that uh, but that right there those are the two best ways to utilize in my opinion google maps and you know, like I said, some people will say that it's not a good way, a good tool for truckers, simply because they don't really cater to truckers, but in a roundabout way they do. And you just have to know how to, uh, how to utilize it uh, to the best of your ability. And I hope this helps you guys out there. And uh, oh, sorry about that guys, had a phone call. Uh, but anyways, I hope you all stay safe out there. Uh, that was the end of the vlog, but I know this isn't your typical vlog. Uh, it's not me driving around and you know showing you the day uh, But it's all the same old same old it's my basic route But anyways, I just wanted to give that friendly tip and I hope that it uh, is being I, I hope that it's utilized by some people because it actually does help uh, You know more than you might think uh, the whole Google Maps uh, Thing, but uh, anyways guys stay safe out there. Hope you guys are making some good money Hope you guys get home soon to see your family and we'll catch you guys next time